Nice to meet you, Kevin. Yeah, <laughs> perfect. All good? Yeah. So I see you are preparing for the race uh, for this weekend, right? Yeah, I was just doing a, a little shakedown and then I saw you on the Nürtinger Hör. What are you doing here? Yeah, so we and my friends are doing a tourist drive here on the Nordschleife with uh, the beautiful Emma, the yeah. T1. Yeah? So enjoying Very the cool. tracks and of course taking a quite good look at our artificial intelligence we are implementing here on the Nordschleife to increase the track safety. Yeah? yeah, really cool. I saw a couple of them on the way here. How many of them are exactly actually around the track? So actually on this track we got eight of those cameras here at Döttinger Höhe and uh, okay. the strip down, uh, down the road up to the um, starting grid and um, there are 40 more on the GP track already and wow. the plan is to implement like 100 more cameras along the track on the Nordschleife to improve this track safety all along because you as a tra professional race driver you of course had a lot of concerns about track safety. Yeah you? exactly I mean that's uh, generally in motorsport and and on the road we there's so many things in safety that we take across and especially you know in the, my experience in 24-hour races there's so many things that can happen crashes and so on that are happening and as a driver when you have this warning you know from the guys that are watching on the side of the track or you have this access to cameras like mm -hmm. these that can warn us drivers it's obviously a massive improvement in terms of safety for us and this is the main concern that we are trying to implement here with this solution so what we are doing here is taking the high definition camera pictures and put an artificial intelligence across it to make a segmentation of this track to make the differentiation between the track the green the curb the fences and so on and to see where the cars are on the track exactly because the main concern of new booking is to keep it up and running for track days, for uh, professional testing of the industries and of course the racing events over here. What we are doing now is to see is a car leading the track, is uh, having an accident, hitting uh, one of the fences and so on and uh, warning the marshals all across the road. So that's the plan at the end of the day. Yeah, cool. I saw actually when we were looking at some of your, your, let's say, photos before, you were showing me also some examples of wet weather and dry weather. And I think that's also, you know, what we are testing the 24-hour races, where the camera yeah. can really make a difference and really step up the accuracy for, for all that safety. Yeah, that's, that's a really a, a topic we have to solve at the end of the day. And we want to help human beings, yeah, human track marshals, humans in the race control to improve all that. Because you can, you can tell by... Uh, taking a view on more than 100 cameras at the same time it needs a lot of people and you have to justify what's happening on the track and exactly the case is during the 24 and maybe with some rain and some spray on the track that will be really a challenge for the camera systems at the end of the day be hoping that we can cope with that and uh, implement the solution as well and warn the, fire, the, the drivers already on the track when they are racing but actually the main uh, cause for this uh, this joint partnership with uh, Fujitsu and Nürburgring is to improve the safety for everyday drives over here on the Nordschleife because this has to be taken into concern from them that they keep it up and yeah, improve the safety all around these use cases they're having here. Yeah, 100%. I think uh, in general, uh, it's such an iconic venue, the Nürburgring yeah. Nordschleife. And if we can contribute to, you know, the, the tourism side, the road car side, and really just emphasize to the people outside that it's not just in the racetrack where we need to be safe. We need to take that on the roads and also be safe for the thousands of people out there. And yeah, from, yeah. My, from my perspective, it's cool to see this progression. Yeah. So and the idea at the end of the day is to, to spread it not only here on Nordschleife, yeah, to um, track all of these 21 kilometers, it's uh, the green hell. So at the end of the day, we discussed with Nürburgring even to implement it to other use cases all across other test driving tracks or other race tracks all across Europe, maybe globally. So we already got the first request from Brazil, for example, the yeah. guys want to talk with us. And on the other side, uh, it's usually use cases we are implementing here that we uh, show in smart city environments, autonomous driving, of course. So all of these technologies are already there in the industry, manufacturing branch, and of course, in the automotive area. So, and this is just uh, the things that we are bringing here down to the track and connect this traditional over 90 years history of Nordschleife with latest digitalization uh, solutions uh, implemented by Fujitsu on this partnership together with Nürburgring. Okay, thanks for the opportunity having you today and of course having a small chat over here on the North Live. Yeah? yeah, thanks a lot. It was really a pleasure. I, I'm excited to see how this technology is going to develop the next few years and I'll be following very closely. We're keeping you updated and thanks for the insights as you as a professional driver gave us. What do you want to do? Short race? I think that would be cool. Let's go. Okay, let's go. <laughs>